Welcome back, everybody, to the show. This is the Shankly Sessions, the Liverpool podcast we bring you each and every week on the Dynamo Podcast Network. Head over to YouTube, smash that subscribe and bell notification button. Audio versions of the show will be available through Spotify. And if you have any comments or you want to get in touch with the show, you can find us on Twitter at Session Shankly, or you'll get us on Facebook and Instagram, The Upper Tier. This is your West Ham versus Liverpool preview. Super Sunday, 4.30 from the London Stadium. Massive game for both clubs at the moment. If West Ham win, they could jump above Liverpool and potentially second. If Liverpool win, they'll keep in touch with Chelsea, who are facing Burnley, I think, 3 o'clock on Saturday. I don't expect that to be an upset in any way. So it's vital that Liverpool pick up the full points here on Sunday to keep in touch with Chelsea at the top of the league. Obviously, United and City are playing each other in the derby lunchtime on Saturday. So Liverpool will have an opportunity to see how all the results have gone before they face West Ham. So it could be an opportunity for Liverpool to move even more ahead and put a bigger gap between themselves and City and United, and also keep in touch with Chelsea, who are in an absolutely scintillating form. Absolutely key battle here between Moyes and Klopp. Moyes doing an absolute outstanding job at West Ham at the moment. Has a great set of players there, really playing within their strengths, picking up great results both on the road and at home. We don't need to say too much about the two boys there in the picture. Mikel Antonio, absolute powerhouse up front for West Ham. And the boy Salah in the background there as well. He was in the form of his life at the moment, both with goals and assists playing out of his skin at the moment. If you look at the current form at the moment, West Ham have four wins and two losses. The last win, of course, against Aston Villa, where they beat them 4-1. I did predict it on our Premier League show that... West Ham would run out comfortable winners against Bill. I think Dean Smith is struggling there at the moment to figure out what formation and what way he wants Aston Villa to play. But that's a huge win regardless of what's going on there. Massive win for West Ham. Liverpool, three wins and three draws. The latest being a draw to Brighton 2 all. They really let themselves down that day. The lack of Fabinho there smothering the back four there and shadowing it. Um, and Jordan Henderson trying to play that role really hurt us on the day. A lot of players didn't show up, and Brighton ended up scrambling the win and could have easily, or scrambling the draw and could have easily come away with all the points on Anfield. But since then, Liverpool have played Atletico Madrid on Anfield, and they absolutely bossed the whole game. Ox looked like back to himself. He was very poor against Brighton. Uh, Firmino was lost, of course, to injury which means Jota will probably start up front for Liverpool. Um, but they were back to their synth late and best. Trent Alexander-Arnold was unbelievable on the night. Absolute man of the match performance for him. And hopefully we can roll on this into the big game on Sunday. Um, despite the contest between the two being very tight affairs, Liverpool have managed to remain undefeated in the last 10 games against West Ham, stretching back as far as 2016. If you look at the last five matches, if you go back in 2021, January, Liverpool won 3-1. October 20, they won 2-1. Uh, February 20, they won 3-2. January 20, they won 2-0. And back to 2019, February, it was one all. So these are always very much tight affairs. There tends to be goals in the match. Um, and we would expect nothing less again on Sunday. It will be a tight affair. It will be a tough game. Um, two very dogged defences there. You'll have Fabinho in there, Declan Roy, Suchek, all these players in there. It's going to be a, a tough one for both teams, um, but I would expect Liverpool to run out winners. Um, especially look at the predicament, looking at the predicament on the table at the moment. It's going to be such a tight affair. That top four now is actually so tight in terms of points and stuff like that. Looking at the predicted lineups, if you look at West Ham, you're looking at Fabianski, Ben Johnson, Ogbonna. Kurt Zuma, Aaron Cresswell, Declan Rice, Thomas Suchek, Pablo Fornals, Jared Bone, Mikel Antonio, and Ben Rama. Absolutely very, very strong team there. Just looking at the midfield there. Jared Bone, a man who's in great scintillating form at the moment. Mikel Antonio, as we said already. Berahama Berah, Berah has come into the team as well, and he's doing an absolute stellar job since he got back in there. If you look at Liverpool's lineup, Allison. Trent, Matip, Van Dijk, 
I expect Simicus to hold his position in the team. I'd be surprised if Robbo comes back in. I think he does need a rest out of the team. Had a rest the other night against Atletico Madrid. But Simicus was outstanding against Madrid the other night. So he may just hold on to that position for the Premier League tie. Let's see what happens. Fabinho, Henderson, Thiago. All the big guns going back in for this big game prior to the international break. And then Mane, Jota and Salah. Jota going in for Firmino there. I know he started the other night. Firmino came on. But Firmino went off injured with a hamstring, as we know. Looking at the prediction, I'm going to go 3-2 Liverpool. I know Liverpool are leaking goals a little bit at the moment. But with Fabinho back in there, they might be slightly tighter. And I expect them just to edge this one in what will be a real competitive game. Let us know your comments in the episode. Let us know your predictions for the game. And let's do this, Red Men. Let's keep this run going. This has been your Shankly Sessions West Ham versus Liverpool preview on the Dynamo Podcast Network. So head over there if you want to check out all the fabulous content that's over there. And also you'll get audio versions of the show on Spotify. We will chat to you again on Sunday.